If you've ever wondered whether you were okay to drive home after being at a bar, you might want to listen up. Yeah, is there a way to find out short of getting pulled over and taking a breathalyzer test? Trish Van Pilsum takes you to a party to find out. You wouldn't drive without a speedometer telling you how fast you're going, so why do so many people have a drink or two or three and get into the car without any idea how drunk they are? I'm Amanda and I'm a marketing coordinator. My name is Dan, and I'm a manager. These people, I'm Jody. My name is Leif. Kurt. I'm Marissa. Christina. Are about to go to a party. And Dan, how much do you weigh? Unlike what do you like to drink? Any other. And you want vodka. How many drinks do you think it will take you to get to a point? Oh, wait, would you guess? Depending on how fast, probably eight. A little really hard. We make sure everybody comes to the party Zeros. without a trace of booze in their bodies. Who drove here? And that we do not want you driving home. No one leaves the party in their own cars. I have to check all of your IDs just to make sure you're old enough. The drinks. The bar is open. Or on the house. Greetings, please. Thank you, bartender. We'll keep track of what they down, down to the ounce. Then we'll test them. So which one should I do? From time to time on something called. You just touch the screen. The intox That's box. A new device, which its young developer says is extremely accurate in measuring blood alcohol level. Yes. We're not just testing the accuracy of the machine, drive at this point. but trying to figure out whether it can really change how drinkers behave. Definitely would not get behind the wheel of the vehicle. But first, let's take a peek at a place in the park, St. Louis Park, where the Intox Box already has found a home. It's the Park Tavern, a busy bar and restaurant. So we want to make sure that people make a wise choice when they walk out the front door. Phil Weber owns one of 19 Metro bars to install an intox box. He thinks it's the most accurate out there. He's noticed more customers finding other ways home. How does he know? Sunday morning usually dons with a truckload of cars from the evening before, still sitting in the parking lot, and he likes that. I don't want anybody to leave here and hurt themselves, hurt anybody else. You get picked up for DWI, it's major, major problems. What do you think you're at? Back at our party. I'm close to a 1 now. Our drinkers step up to the intox box sure. yeah, you can for the first time. How are you feeling? Be bossed up. <laughs> They'll blow into the box using a plastic straw. Uh, 0 0.06. But first, they get a chance to guess their blood alcohol level. And there's a reason for that. 0 0.09. Other bar self-testing devices have taken heat. The fear being that drinkers would treat them as a game. Close. Right on. Actually drinking more as they try to raise their score. Oh wow. It's hoped the awesome. All right. guess your level function of this device builds in its own element of competition, lessening the odds people will make a game of upping their levels by competing with each other or with the machine. Got me a loss. You know, we didn't want to take any shortcuts. We use uh, the same quality uh, sensors that it's used in law enforcement. This is just uh, one of our frames before it's been assembled. 24-year-old Ryan Walden created the Intox box three years ago after one of his close friends got picked up for a DUI and had no idea he was over the limit. It just occurred to me that there's probably a lot of people that are in that position. Uh, up here we have our inventory. This Cornell College grad oversees production of the units at a facility in Winona, just a couple of hours from the company's Twin Cities offices. Walden wanted to keep it local. When you're measuring something that can make the difference between life and death on the road... You don't really want to put that in the hands of, say, uh, the Chinese manufacturing companies. You, you really want it to be close by so you can make sure that the product you're putting out is very high quality. The quality piece is important. Other bar breathalyzers just haven't been reliable, so law enforcement and, time will tell. and groups like MAD have refused to endorse them. How do you know it is really working as far as the self-calibration, the um, expiration date, if it's not damaged when it was used, and if you're actually using it properly, even if it is an interactive device? Yeah, so we have people who go in and do maintenance. So we have um, our operators, our maintenance guys, go in uh, once a month to calibrate uh, the units. And once a month is enough? Yeah, once a month is plenty. That's, uh, that's extra precaution. So just how accurate is it? What would you want with it? Back at the party, our guests 
step up for another round of testing. Okay, tight seal and blow hard. To verify nice, long, steady breath. the intox box results, we ask Eden Prairie Police to test our drinkers too with an official PBT. Okay. The department does not endorse any commercial self-testing device, but agrees to help us out. Dan's intox box reading is 0.12, his police PBT reading 0.103. Leif's intox box reading, 0.12, police PBT, 0.117. 06, I think. Marissa is 0.13 on the box 0.114. with the officer. Pretty accurate, though. Overall, the self-test was accurate, basically rounded up a hundredth of a point from the police PBT score. So this is another tool, another educational tool to get people to realize what they're doing to themselves. Minnesotans for Safe Driving thinks the intox box is different enough from other self-tests that it's the first device of its kind the organization has supported. You know, most people that kill driving uh, impaired are, are first-time offenders, and most people are between an 08 and a 14. So most people aren't falling down drunk when they when they get in these crashes, you know. They're just, they're impaired, and they make a mistake and uh, terrible things happen. It's just this extra blanket of security for people who are, who are thinking about driving home. The difference the device makes on the decision to drive <laughs> depends on the person. I, I don't even drive after one drink. That's yours. It took Kurt 18 ounces of alcohol <laughs> ah, yikes. to reach 0 .08. Yeah, got it. Yes, I probably wouldn't drive at this point, but... But you might. I might. For him, the machine could be the red light he needed. The machine warns drinkers that their alcohol level will continue to go up over time. Now, are you concerned about uh, liability if, say, someone blows a point zero five and they go out and 20 minutes later, because their levels have gone up to 0.08, get pulled over? There's a difference between a self-test and a controlled test in the eyes of the law. And the intox box is a, a self-test, just like any handheld breathalyzer. And so there is a, a protection. He believes, in fact, having an intox box could reduce a bar's liability, letting owners argue they'd done everything they could to keep customers safe. I know their business is selling alcohol, uh, but it, a lot of times, if you see that you're that you're um, getting close to legal limit, maybe you'll grab an appetizer and you'll hang around for a while. Seven, eight, nine. Fortunately, okay. for our party goers, this is just a test. Intox Box has just worked out a deal with a local cab company. So if you're at a point oh eight or above, the machine can automatically call a cab to take you home. I'm Trish Van Pilsom for Fox 9 News.